So Kenya is counting only three days to December 12th, which marks 51 years since Kenya became a republic. And even as Kenya prepares to celebrate this key anniversary, land issues continue to take center stage across the country. We begin our special coverage on the run-up to Jamhuri Day tonight, and our reporter Masi Kandia brings us the story of Nandi's Talai clan, whose detention camps have seen been turned into homes. Take a look. <laughs> It is a song that with every line and every bit gets Kenyans close to the feeling of freedom from colonial rule. That nostalgic feeling of hope that engulfed this nation on December 12, 1964, when Kenya finally became a republic. Incredibly, in the heart of Nandi County, however, that are like none, are yet to celebrate, yet to be liberated 51 years later. We have not gained that independence because of negligence. With him are documents telling the story of a half a century fight for liberation. Their predicament started when the Talai resisted colonial rule. The community members were forcefully moved from their land in Tinderet and detained at Kapsisewo, surrounded by swamps infested with mosquitoes. The Talai, with inferior weapons, had resisted the British colonialists for 11 years, the longest resistance by an African community. I think it was the fear of the colonial government. After the Nandi resistance, the British, the colonial government now thought this was a threat. These people were a threat because they were uni a uniting factor. Eh? They were a uniting factor among the Nandi. The plight of the Talai points to a much bigger problem, land. Hi. Arab Kipsogon and others have over the years communicated severally to the British government, but the response has not been great. The British government has not taken up any responsibility so far. In 1962, a discussion tabled in Parliament stated in part that in the history of African reaction to the European intrusion, normally one or two would be deported, but the whole clan of thousands were detained. A notice of motion was filed in Parliament to compensate the Samoe family. The Honourable Yet, for 51 years, government after government, the Talaiklan says it's been all talk and so little to show for it. We have made some rules submission to TGRC, for example. First, uh, we know that the land that we lost in Andils, uh, those tea estates and so on, which later came to a lease of 999, whatever, you know, we were forcibly removed from those areas. Uh, displaced, forceful dis displacement of, of people. The Liborn leaders among the clan were said to have supernatural powers to predict the future. You know, we were stigmatized. Uh, stigmatization in terms of the perception that, you know, you know, colonial propaganda, the colonial propaganda that the, the, the Libones were a bad people. The Libones were witch, witch doctors. Libones, even, even as recently as a few years ago, uh, there had been murders, killings of, of people who have been Libones in other countries, in other areas like Washington. Gogo Helen Chipkorn and Zeki Mining Birgen are the last surviving members of a group of what was dubbed the Talai 11, detained at Kapsi Sewa, and after the colonialists left, the detention areas became home. Every year they hope that even if they never get to set foot back home, then their children will one day. Ramanye. Ramanye was the longest serving detainee. And he was a friend of president, a former president, first president, Kenyatta, in 1964. In fact, he gave, he gave some boot, uh, call of us, Mangi, to Kenyatta as a sign of recognition. And so there was that link. Uh, and I hope uh, maybe one day uh, something can be done. <laughs> It 
It is the hope of the Talai clan fighters that the younger generation will rip the fruits of the long fight for liberation and finally go where they call home. It is a fight for compensation among the Talai clan that has taken them over 50 years and counting. A fight they hope will end soon so that as the rest of the country celebrates independence, the Talai clan can also enjoy this independence. Masi Kandia Katian, Kapsisiwa, Nandi County. Pishangeli.